Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel, The Crumbs in the Philippines. It's another beautiful morning here in Lipa City, Batangas, albeit a little bit of a hot one. We've been going through a hot spell and just a little bit of a drought, which is uncommon for the tropics, but hopefully we'll get some rain soon. Just had a, another expat call me from a, another really nice subdivision here in the Lipa City area. It's over behind the Robinson Mall called Bloomfield Heights. We're going to roll over there and he's trying to sell his house he's owned it for seven years he had it built in that subdivision it's really nice and we're going to go over and catch a gander at it and get it on film and let you guys take a look at it i really don't mean to turn this channel into a real estate channel so i'm going to try to get back to doing some more conventional videos here really soon anyways guys thanks for sticking with us and we'll see you on the other side Bloomfield Heights it, subdivision is on the west side of Lipa. It's just down the road from the Robinson Mall, a couple of kilometers. And uh, it's a really nice looking little subdivision here. It's only about seven years old. And this house that Steve, the gentleman that we met, has for sale is uh, one of the very first homes that was built in the subdivision. But as you, you're going to be able to notice when you go, you go inside of this home, is that it's still, being seven years old, I got the impression that it was brand new as I walked through this place. It, it has been maintained as well as any house I've ever seen. And I also have to say that this is the nicest house that I've ever videoed since I've been in the Philippines. I really like this subdivision. There's a lot of open space. There's uh, an empty lot on either side of the house. Really nice garage area there to park your car and there's a this door leads into the service area and we'll look at that from the inside here in just a little bit but the breeze was blowing through here and there's this house is really has a lot of windows and doors and a really nice way to get some cross breeze blowing through there to help with temperature control it's beautifully landscaped as you can see here there's some of the glass that I was talking about that lets in just a ton of natural light. This was a beautiful place. I, I was very impressed with it. You, we walk around to the back of the house, and there's a nice patio area where you could sit and have coffee. There's furniture there, and everything that you see in this video is included in the sale of the house, and that is three air conditioning units in the house itself and two of them are split type which are more expensive and, and and are nicer and then there's one window unit in the upstairs bedroom but here we are in the sala just you're going to notice that this is a really high quality construction here this home is very i mean it's immaculate and the design and the interior decorating design is gives kind of an art deco feel to it but it's it's really nice the floor was just beautiful and spotless i couldn't find anything in the house that that i could say anything negative about there there's jen my beautiful wife sitting there on some of the included furniture in the house and we met this guy steve he's from australia very very nice gentleman we enjoyed uh, visiting with him during the tour here, and uh, he was just a really nice guy. I, we made a new friend today. I was really happy. And This is a, a bar area where you could make drinks and stuff, and there, there's even a, there was a storage that, where he had some spirits up there. I'll show you that later in the video. Then we come into the dining area. It has a separate dining room from the kitchen and living room which i like there's a nice bar with contemporary bar stools and all of the furnishings and the appliances and all of those things were like what i would call top notch just very high quality the best that that you can put into a house steve didn't spare any expense on his uh 
whenever he was furnishing his house. It's a very nice place. Just a really nice dining room table there with glass tabletop and six chairs and beautiful ceilings and lighting and there's ceiling fans in several rooms. And there's a door here on the right that leads out into that patio area that we saw around back where you could go outside. It's just it's a nice place. You can see how much light gets into the house from all of the windows and doors. This house is the highest rated you can have for earthquakes. It was designed with that in mind as well. And then we come into the kitchen area, really nice, large, over and under refrigerator, freezer. It was, it looked brand new, as did everything in the house. Just very nice design. Real high quality things just all throughout the house. I'm trying not to use the same superlatives over and over again, but it's really hard not to whenever you just see the quality and uh, how well maintained this house has been. Nice oven and stove top. Look like brand new. Hard to believe this stuff is seven years old, some of it. Nice granite countertops again. And cabinet space galore in the kitchen and in all of the rooms as well as you'll notice when we go through up of and below the countertop area it's a really nice thing there the exhaust was even contemporary for the stovetop then we come in here into the master bedroom which this house has two master bedrooms one on the ground floor and one on the upstairs that you'll see. Just really beautiful full-size or queen-size bed there with windows on either side and, and night nightstands on either side. There's one of the split-type air cons that you have that's in this bedroom. Floors, really nice. A lot of electrical outlets for whatever your needs might be the walls just i mean take a look it looks like they were freshly painted just really nice design this had this uh closet here had sliding doors on it a lot of storage space for clothing there's a vanity mirror and a little wrap around type desk there just a nice touch i I really like the designer. Whoever designed this home did a really good job. Then we'll come in and take a look at the first bathroom here. All of the bathrooms just absolutely spotless. They all have hot water. There's three bathrooms in the house. and There was originally four bedrooms, but Steve converted one of the bedrooms into a, a second living room upstairs that you'll see. Just the fixtures all look absolutely brand new clean as a whistle and you got western style toilets in all three bathrooms as well and then whenever we come through the next door we're out in the service area which again just hard to beat i'll tell you that much you got these little doors that swing in and out and you hang your clothes up there from the washer and all of these things are included Look at how clean and it just looks new. Even the dirty kitchen area, the sink and the second little stove top over here where you can cook your fried foods outside. Just really nice. And then right over here is the laundry room with a nice heavy duty washer, which of course is included. And you have your place to hang your clothes up here just right outside of the laundry room. A lot of storage in here as well. I just I opened it up and just took a look inside, and there's quite a bit of stuff. You can see that I think Steve's a he keeps his stuff really neat and organized, which is a, a good thing to do. Now we're going to head up the stairs, which were also very nicely constructed and easy to walk up. No steepness about them or anything like that. And nice views throughout upstairs. 
again just a nice touch with the decor there on the landing this used to be uh, the fourth bedroom here but Steve had the wall taken out and converted into like a day room where you could sit and, and they have a chair there and you can see outside through that window and there's also a door leading out into the balcony area just right past here. It's very nicely decorated. Very impressive. I I don't mean to keep saying the same things over and over again, but it, I'm sure you can see, even through my poor attempts at capturing how nice this house is, you can you you have to be able to see just how beautiful this place is. There's a great view from the balcony, those beautiful blue skies with the clouds and you can see across your subdivision all of the homes in the subdivision are just beautifully beautiful homes and there's a lot of room for other people to come in and build but these are pretty upscale homes in this neighborhood then we come down and we have uh, two other bedrooms up here and bathrooms this is the second bathroom, also has hot water and a shower. It just looks brand new. I, I know I keep saying that, but it, I was just really impressed with it. Nice design. Mirror, all of your toilet and sink. Again, just looks like they were just installed last week. And they're Western style, which is a bonus. And... They all have bidets, which is a kind of standard in a lot of Filipino house builds. And here's a bedroom here. You can see the big cabinets there on the left. And, you know, this has got, a, again, a nice queen-size bed. And it's nice and clean. Still look, We're still looking like we're in a brand-new home here. Got a vanity mirror. Just a lot of storage here for a guest bedroom full-size cabinets and then we come out and we're going to go down and look at the he's explaining to me here how he had that wall removed and how it used to be a bedroom this guy was really friendly i i enjoyed talking to him he's a good guy this is the master bedroom on the second level you can see the window type air con there above the desk area but it has a nice TV, and there's a door that leads out onto that same balcony that we were out on before. It's just a nice touch. You can walk out there from your bedroom, and a lot of light gets in up here. A lot of places to create a cross breeze to cool the things down if you didn't want to run your AC all the time. Because it is, it does get cooler here in the Lipa area during parts of the year, which is really nice. And he uses this part as his office right over here below the air conditioner. You can see it has like a desk area. But again, just a lot of storage space in the house. It's it's really nice touch. Then the little big walk-in closet with just a ton of cabinets and storage space in here. You don't find many walk-in uh, closets in the philippines but this was a nice one here of course all of his clothing would be gone but the cabinets would definitely remain and uh just a nice touch i that's a big closet that's almost as big as the closet i had in my home back in missouri and then the bat this is the nicest of the three bathrooms as well it has hot water again just western style amenities in the bathroom and a nice glass enclosed shower with the glass door, hot water, nice big shower there. With the, the backsplash was really nice. There's no water stains or anything anywhere in the house. Just a just a really nice place. That's all I can say. Any of you that have been watching these videos that I've been doing. You know I'm not a real estate agent, and I, I'm not on here, you know, trying to show houses and, and make money for myself. I just do this to show people that are thinking about moving 
what type of things are available. There's the whiskey I was telling you about that was up above there. I missed it before. But anyway, guys, we're going to take a quick ride through the subdivision and show you the clubhouse and some of the houses that are in here. It's been uh, appreciate you coming along. There's the price of the house. It's 12 million pesos or $207,000 in today's current currency exchange market here in the Philippines. And we appreciate you guys joining us as always. Thank you so very, very much for the kind words and thanks for sharing with us and just kind of experiencing this part of our lives that right along with us as we go. And we're going to try to do a lot more videos that away from the showing of houses, which I really like doing the house videos. It's really fun to me to go and see the different types of places. There's Steve's house with that are available in the Philippines. And this is one of the nicer ones, I could tell you. I, it was, I could just imagine myself inside of that house and what it would be like. It would be like living in almost in a resort all of the time. You can see this place has some beautiful homes in it. Some of them are just huge and they all look fairly new and they have to be with the subdivision only being seven years old. Whenever we get up here to the clubhouse, which is just a minute or so here, you'll see even that still looks like it's brand new, including the landscaping and the pool area. Just really, really a nice touch. But anyways, guys, I'm going to play some music to finish this thing out. Stay happy, stay healthy, and we'll see you at the next video.